Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Mossy here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, for today's video, I have a crazy, crazy class set up for the new ZRG Sniper. This class, I promise you, will help you hit a lot of clips. However, I have yet to hit like a very good clip with it myself. Uh, everything's either been split or it just it was too slow. Uh, I didn't get a collab or anything um, to make the clip actually look good. So instead of me showing clips today, I'm just going to go ahead and cut straight to the class itself. Uh, and then afterwards, I'm going to play a good gameplay I had with the sniper. Uh, so be sure to stick around for that if you want just stick around for the sniper class itself I don't plan to you know either bore y'all or show a lot of clips with it just because I haven't hit any yet I haven't been playing a lot just because I've been working a lot So I haven't gotten to grind it that much. So yeah, I'm gonna roll the intro real quick And then we'll get into the class setup itself It's lit Get that little bitch a little tip Now she wanna suck on the dick She wanna catch all of the drip Pull up and I'm loading the clip Alright, so here's the class setup itself. I have yet to do the double sniper glitch. I just haven't gotten on enough and haven't gotten anyone, you know, any of my friends on to do it with. Uh, but uh, however, I do recommend you do double snipers with this, double ZRGs, uh, just because it'll actually allow you to hit a crazy ass clip. I'll have it linked down below on how to do double snipers. It's really easy. You just need a friend to do it with. All right, so let's get into the attachments for the ZRG. For the first attachment, I recommend the 39.3 inch rapid fire barrel. This gun's fire rate is extremely slow stock. So you need to get all the fire rate you can, and this is the only attachment that upgrades your fire rate. This attachment, like I said, is a must-have. You have to have this. Uh, the damage on it's so high as is, you don't need the Sigma Special or any damage or velocity uh, increasing barrel just because the velocity is crazy fast, and so is the damage. All right, for the second attachment, you're going to need the Tiger Team Spotlight. This is an attachment I use on all of my snipers. It is a must-have as well, especially with having the slow fire rate as it does. You're going to need to be able to track the enemies as best as possible. If you have good vision as is because, you know, you're just you're just built like that, then you really don't need it. You could swap it for maybe a different attachment that you feel is better. But I feel like this is a, a must have when it comes to the attachments on this gun. So for the third attachment, this is an also a must have if you're going for clips. If you're going for maybe Warzone, it's a little different. Uh, I haven't played Warzone with it yet, so I really don't know how good it is on Warzone. But when it comes to sniping on Cold War, five round mag is a must have. You start off with three rounds when it comes to this gun. So you're going to need as many rounds as possible if you're going to be hitting clips with it. You know, it just doesn't cut it with the three rounds. You're going to have to have five. Like I said, this is a must have. For the fourth attachment, I'm going to go with the airborne elastic wrap. You're going to get a way better aim down sight speed. Um, it's going to be similar to the Tundra. Uh, so you're going to have more damage, but a similar aim down sight speed as a Tundra. So I still think it's a wonderful class. Uh, you could either go with the airborne or the serpent. They're both aim down the exact same but the serpent pulls out faster however i think the airborne in my opinion just works better because you get the flinch resistance and you can aim while going down and prone because you're going to have to move a lot in order to get close with this sniper so you have to be very mobile and being able to drop shot slide and shoot you know having no flinch resistance it's very must have when it comes to this class now for the fifth and final attachment i go with the cqb pad uh the reason i go with this is because this the sprint to fire on this this uh sniper is really slow as is uh, I don't really do many hit fire shots, so I don't really need hit fire accuracy. However, uh, if you do, you know, plan to do a lot of hit firing, I would definitely go with the marathon pad. You get a better sprint to fire time, or you get the you get a little bit less sprint to fire time, but you don't lose any hit fire accuracy. Now, going back to the sprint to fire time, the sprint to fire time is slow stock wise on this gun, so you're gonna need as much as possible. This is gonna allow you to, you know, as you're sprinting, you know, you see an enemy come around the corner, you can be able to stop, shoot, and continue going. All right, so for the second sniper, the attachments that are on the sniper now are the ones I recommend for if you have two of the same zrgs so for the muzzle i would the only thing i would change from the first one and the second one is i would take off the tiger team and put a sound moderator on all right now for the rest of the class so these don't really matter if you're playing snipers only but uh if you're not i would go tactical being stun grenade lethal being frag grenade uh feel like a assault pack i just changed it if you're wondering why it looked different than the last one uh for perks i go forward intel ninja and gung-ho forward intel this makes your mini map bigger allows you to see spawns uh when the enemy spawn outside your like mini map zone it puts a little blip at the top showing where they spawn, so it allows you to uh, see where spawns are flipping. Uh, Ninja, obviously, so they don't hear you running. Like I said, this class, is the fire rate's really slow, so you're going to be able to move in and out as best as possible. Uh, and then for the last one, Gung Ho, because, you know, if you're going off with the first one, you need to be able to switch quickly and continue in the clip. All right, so that is all for the class setup itself. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this class setup. I hope you do use it. I hope you... I hit clips with it. I uh, hope you have better luck than I do because I'm struggling to hit a clip with it. Tomorrow's upload is going to be more of a combined of a lot of funny interactions and stuff I've had with people. You know, people saying funny shit while I'm playing and stuff. It's going to be more of a funny video. It's not going to be a tutorial or a tip video, so be ready for that. Uh, and then the next upload after that, uh, depending on what day I do upload this and what day I upload the next one, 
I believe it's going to be my second month part two when it comes to the montages I have monthly. Uh, so be ready for that as well. Uh, this one I'm going to edit a lot better. I'm going to start working on it now so that I don't edit it the day before I plan on uploading. So it's going to be a little bit better edited. And I have a lot better clips this time since the first one. Uh, if you want to, go watch the first one. You can see how it works, what I do, uh, and the clips then. So you can see the progression I've had in like a month. Like it's insane the better clips I've had since that last montage. Again, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy. I upload content pretty much daily. I'm going to try to do daily uh, daily content on Cold War, Cold War sniping to be, to be uh, specific. Uh, so if you did enjoy, please hit that like button uh, and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment down below on anything you think I should do better. Or if you know if you did enjoy this class setup, you know link me uh, clips that you've hit with this class setup, or maybe clips you hit with the ZRG. I enjoy that stuff. I like watching clips. Uh, like I said, leave a like and a subscribe if you don't mind. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Get the bag, ice on my wrist, diamonds move a lag. Never switch in position, that's what money be in my bag. I don't think I for all the shit that I got, I never had. Now that I'm in it, I got a ball, roll it the wrist, and that one's on froze. She wanna fuck, I'm nose, taking it down, I'm nose. That kick it out, adios, stacking the bread, a lot of dough. Roll the wrist, though, don't know where the switch, though. Got my pants up, think I need a branch, though. We keep it lit. I can't let these niggas miss us Talking crazy, then you might get stitched up I know why they ain't know me, so I switch plots Not running out of people, so fuck a pit stop I've been ballin' since a youngin', so I take shots She just wanna fuck me, cause she know I get guac I hit the jackpot, you a mascot I'm on big rocks, on my wristwatch I know why they ain't know me, so I switch plots Hold up, beat in the whip, got rolled up, 32 G's in the zip lock, hold up, now I'm talking shit, uh, zombie walk to the whip, every night get lit, me and Uno for the hit. Driven to deep left field, 